launch right into our meeting. I'll do my best to attend to Zoom at the same time. So um, if you do have your hand raised on Zoom and, you, and I'm not paying attention, um, just unmute yourself. <laughs> I'll, try to, okay. I'll try to keep an eye out for you. Thank you, Karen. Um, so I'm Katerina Osias. I'm the recreation director for the town. We have a number of people that have been working on Eclipse things and town officials here to talk with you all today to tell you where we stand. I think um, the overarching theme for how Waterbury is addressing the coming eclipse is that we want to operate as close to usual as possible, um, knowing that we will have a lot of visitors in town, but we want to make the experience um, good for them while also you know, still operating our town. Um, I'm sure most everyone I'll let Katie introduce herself. I don't know if Woody and Tom want to say anything, but Katie's new to the town, so I want to make sure. I'm Katie. I'm the program coordinator for the recreation department, so I'm helping out with whatever Katerina needs me to do. <laughs> <laughs> do either of you want to say anything? Oh, I don't want to say anything, but I'm Bill Woodruff, the public works director for one. <laughs> and I'm Tom Lights, the town manager. If something goes wrong, it's all Bill Woodruff's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then we've been working really closely with revitalizing Waterbury, so thanks Karen for being here. Um, I guess uh, I'll go over the high level overview of what we've planned as a town um, and then just open it up for discussion. If there's things you want us to address, I'll either, we can talk about what we have thought through um, or either why or it is or isn't happening. Um, but again, we're trying to keep town operating as close to usual as possible, knowing that there'll be a lot of people here. Um, so I think we all know that the eclipse is on April 8th. Um, it, it's coming, it's a Monday, it's a early April in Vermont. Um, I think we're, our fingers are crossed for being able to see the eclipse on that day, but um, you know, there are some things that, um, uh, you know, <laughs> Not everything is in our favor in early April in Vermont. Um, the skies will be darkened for about two and a half minutes in Waterbury. Um, we are in the path of totality, so that's exciting. Um, and then we do expect maybe around 10,000 people to come into town that day. It will, of course, depend on if it's sunny, if you're able to see the sky, um, and then they, you know they might jet somewhere else if that's not possible in Waterbury. Um, we think that's comparable to a busy leaf peeper weekend. Um, what has the town done so far? Um, and hi everyone on Zoom. Um, we have free Eclipse glasses. We have them available at the town offices. We were passing them out at town meeting day. The library has been kind enough to have them at their front desk too. And we have worked with the schools to make sure that students have those free glasses also. Um, and then if there are businesses here today, or anyone um, that would like to pass out glasses on their own, please feel free to talk with me about that. We do have glasses. They do have to be passed out for free. Um, we also have um, at by request laminated no parking signs. So if you're a resident and you think that your um, your personal parking lot will be, you know, a person might zip in and steal your personal parking spot, um, feel free to ask us for one of those laminated signs. If we don't have one on hand, it means we truly have to laminate it. So do give us time to, to accomplish that. Um, like don't request on Sunday, April 7th. <laughs> um, we will be posting temporary signs in all of our parks that have um, no overnight parking and no camping signs because we don't have a um, we don't allow camping in those parks and we want to make sure that they're open um, for the day of the eclipse. So those will be posted around town the week leading up to um, to the eighth. Um, we will also have additional trash and recycling in locations around town. Um, knowing that there's going to be more people and therefore there will be more trash. Um, we also have some portable toilets coming that will be in our parks around town. We have also talked with the state about the horseshoe um, and may have some portalettes there as well. Um, Waterbury Fire Department and Ambulance have been notified and are preparing for in case there are any emergency events that day. 
and then the schools currently have a half day dismissal um, for the students. Um, right now, the only road closure planned ahead of time is at the ICE Center on um, Friday night and Saturday night. They will be closing the road during the nighttime because they have weekend events and they just want to prepare for um, no one uh, continuing to be able to have their weekend events. Other than that, there are no planned road closures leading up to the eclipse or on the day of the eclipse. Um, but of course, it's early April in Vermont and there can be road closures, so we will post those on our websites like we always do and our eclipse website. Um, at this time, there's no planned traffic control. The state has traffic signs that will be set up on all of the state-owned roads. Um, and right now, that we are relying on them for that um, those messages. Um, and then for parking, we still have parking at all of our public lots. We have talked with the state for the Waterbury State Office, office Complex and the lots they own. Um, those conversations are ongoing, um, but they have asked their employees to work from home that day. So once we sort of get more confirmation of which parts of the parking lots will still be used, there will likely be more spaces there too. Um, and then we have um, the Stanley Watson lot that they own, but um, that, that we can use. <coughs> Um, and then a reminder that Hope Davy Disc Golf Course and Nature Trails are annually closed during this time of year, so they will still be closed during the eclipse. Um, and the state is working to have some of their state parks open, and that includes Little River and the Reservoir um, on the day of. Um, for fun things, um, <laughs> we will have a world map here at the town offices for visitors to come and you know show us how far that they they've traveled from. So please direct people here. Um, I don't know the exact location, but please know that it will be you know either right here or outside of the building. Um, I think those are the biggest updates, and I'm sure you have plenty of questions and things that you're planning that we can help with or help promote. So. I will leave it to the group um, and try and facilitate questions as best I can. Can I just add a little couple? Please, of Karen. So part, as, as a designated downtown, um, I've actually been in contact with all my colleagues. Uh, and I actually had a meeting yesterday with them. And they all asked what we were doing. And I said close to nothing. And they were jealous. So <laughs> uh, the truth of the matter is there's a lot of uh, towns that are throwing parties. and. And we made a really conscious decision not to do that in that it could just be snowing that day and spending that kind of money for an event didn't make sense to us. Um, they've also, Boston Globe has announced that the top, two of the top five locations to view the eclipse are Barry and St. Johnsbury, and neither of them are happy about that. So, um, especially since St. Johnsbury's not in the totality, um, really <laughs> screwed that Neither is Barry. Oh, Barry's barely in the totality. Yeah. Yeah. So just want to let you know there's a lot of communication going on all around the state and working and coordinating. And um, we have been working with the businesses and making sure they've got a lot of information. And truth be told, I think we did it the right way. <laughs> we really have. So I'm happy to help answer questions as well. Thanks, Karen. Karen, when you spoke to Steelwater, Tennessee, did they find that then people left right after? Is that why you're thinking yes. we don't have to worry about staying open late on Monday? Yeah, so the question of when to stay open as a business owner, I, we really think the opportunity to get extra business is on Sunday. Okay. Um, we've been in touch. I was with, um, Best Western is completely sold out. Mm -hmm. um, all the re hotels and inns are full at this point. There's no place to stay. Um, but they often are making a, a two night overnights. So it's a Saturday night and a, it's like Sunday night and Monday night or Saturday and Sunday night. Um, but we don't think people are gonna stick around. There's a lot of people who will just be driving up or driving into our area. Um, but it's also why we're really encouraging the state not to have their employees at four o'clock trying to leave or 4.30, the roads could be completely packed. Sweetwater, Tennessee said it took anywhere from 10 to 12 hours to leave their town. Oh my God. <laughs> But that was a town they received 50,000 visitors. We're looking, at, I think, and we picked 10,000 out of a hat, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
but the state has gone from expecting 100,000 to the most recent <coughs> quote I've heard is 250,000. I've heard 250,000 oh, yesterday in the state. So yeah. it's going to be, it's going to be big. I agree. I suggest we have free glasses at the world map. We will. Yes, we will. And we can help promote awesome. that so that people know that that's a place to go. Okay. I have about, I think, 15 of the Waterbury branded ones left at the Stowe Street Emporium. And then I, I can give out the ones you just made better. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And, and we gonna... have t-shirts oh, cool. and we're getting, st and Green Mountain Dry Goods has stickers and yeah. um, magnets. And you have yeah, the Bridge Tech Books still has posters. Mm -hmm. Do you have stickers? Do have stickers. And stickers. Yeah. So if anybody needs so we'll send them that, that way too. Our t shirts are cool. You know what? I'll, I'll make take sure. Glasses, okay. yeah. Yeah. I'll make sure in one of our clips postings we talk about finding branded goodies yeah. to send them to our yeah. businesses. Yeah. Do other people think? Yeah. Mike Bard, uh, just a question about Hope Davy. I know the parking lot will be open the day of. Will people be allowed to like bring like portable barbecues and stuff like that? Because a lot of people it's gonna be a lot of time and stuff like that. And they might want to, you know, a little, you know, celebration, have some hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff like that. Tailgating. Yeah. <laughs> okay, exactly. Yeah. The club's tailgating. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that the um, the front part of Hope Davy is still open, um, just right. not the nature trails and the disc golf course. And as right. long as they follow our park rules, um, they can be in our parks. Um, is is there a rule? Because I know there are set up barbecue spots. Like if they brought their own portable barbecue, is that going to be? I think. Well, I'm looking at what think you're I think grills are allowed in our rules. I don't think they're prohibited. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Because usually when you have barbecue places there, it's usually other barbecues may not be allowed. Mm -hmm. and I know I've had several people oh, ask about that. Oh, he's good. All right. I've never heard of well, I guess <laughs> that's a question. <laughs> I, I don't think it should be prohibited. I think it should be a good celebration and mm -hmm. have some portable, you know, it's not like someone's going to have a big bonfire. No, the barbecue there. police won't be out. Will the town be patrolling any of these areas? I mean, you're not going to be checking Hope Davy to make sure people aren't on the trails. You're not going to be. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't have extra people on yeah, staff so that day. Um, so, you know, we're going to check into things mm -hmm. when we're physically nearby, but no, we're not going to be patrolling anywhere. Yeah. I don't think there's a lot of. Them. Somebody said to me the other day, why is everybody making such a big deal about this? <laughs> What's the big hoopla? Oh, gosh. It was like, it's a once in a lifetime. Yeah, my husband doesn't care. You know, it was just funny. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. All right, that's all we need to know. Tom, you were talking about 51 South Main to me. Have you made a decision on that? Yes, yeah, so what we, um, we talked about at the, at the select board meeting last night, we'd like to keep 51 South Main um, held off and try to reserve it for staff that work downtown. Oh, good. No. So we'll we'll do a count of spaces and try to do something through Karen where if you work downtown, we'll we'll print up some sort of parking tag in town hall and try to barricade that lot off the day before. Yeah, so we'll help with the communication and the process, but that will help. Particularly things like our restaurant owners yeah, and the thinking. waitress, you know, staff there who are gonna be working through. Okay. Helps to have Kane on the board. Yeah. 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 Thinks about this in a different way. Yeah. Good. Um, Woody is going to help us um, with turning the lights off in town oh, during the eclipse. Right. Yeah. Um, so that, you know, some. the street some. Some, the, some, some. Yeah, the ones that we can, um, <coughs> so that, you know, we're not turning lights on when. The once in a lifetime experience. It's great. <laughs> like we did for the arts fest. Right. That's good. I'm glad we took care of that. Yeah. Um, one thing that I emailed you both about, and maybe there's a different uh, way to do it, so I thought I would just bring it yeah. up. Um, we were thinking about all the people that come in normally and don't know where to go for things in the store and we're constantly being like okay go down to this light take a right take another left like whatever 
um, and whether there can be a map, a QR code, something that we can just say, here, scan this, and that'll show you where the portalettes are. Scan this, those That's are the, the restaurants that are open today. It's like, I don't know. So, um, just so if we are going to be that busy and we're going to have a ton of people mulling around, coming in and out, um, it would be nice not to have to tell every single person. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I think that the town can help with the map. Mm -hmm. um, I think knowing what businesses are open on that Monday we'll might be, that, yeah. That uh, out. Mm -hmm. But we can make sure that there's a QR code. I have made, not made enough copies, but um, I have made a one pager that's what the, the town is doing that day. Um, so it should be able to answer some of the questions, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> and it'll be up, but it'll be updated. Yep, it'll be updated like the week before, so don't count on it as it stands. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, I'm, I'm just but mostly thinking the bathroom. Yeah, it's the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom. Yeah. Bathrooms. Like, yeah. People are going to come in and be like, oh, I'm, I'm closing my bathroom. Nope, nope, nope. What if a little kid comes in and the mom says, <laughs> no, no, I mean, never, yeah. <laughs> you, you say, the, 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 Portalette is right around the corner in the alley. Not me. <laughs> I say, <laughs> sure. Oh, gosh. But it is, we should put a column on portalettes I mean, on here. Yeah. yeah, something like that. It's, yeah, I can do that. Um, <laughs> I, can, I like Katya's idea of a map. Yeah. I think that's a smart idea. We can yeah. also show where people can go to view it. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's a great idea. Yeah. Now we'll take a look at trying to get to know which business. <coughs> so, Kathy, you said you're going to close during the eclipse. Because we want to see it. Right. <laughs> so that makes, I, I think that makes a lot of sense. We'll probably close from 2 to 4.30. And then maybe instead of closing at 5, maybe we'll just be there till 6. That's so that there's still people wandering mm -hmm. around. I don't know. What do you think? Are you, I think I you just going close to wait by your... Yeah, I think we'll be fluid. What do you think, Larry? It'll we'll just be fluid. It'll be like with the uh, arts festival, we used to the block party, we would stick around. Yeah. You know, and if people came in, they came in up and they would be Mostly, I think it's really important for food places because I know there are going to be some. Stowe Street Cafe is not opening. Blackback is going to be closed that week. So, Sorry. like, we're going to be. I'm going like to that. Black back. Yeah. Yeah. So Aaron said they were going to be open. No, they well, said to, uh, I think they're. Or, no, sorry, they're not closed that week, but they're not opening on Monday, and they usually don't open on Monday, mm -hmm. so they're staying that way. Yeah. We'll look um, into getting the businesses and the restaurant information in the next week. That'd be really good for yeah. us to have, too. Really. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so when someone's like, oh, where can I get coffee? You'd be like, these four places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I know, I know the eclipse lasts two and a half hours, but usually you don't. Stare at the sun. <laughs> I mean, it's like you kind of check on it, and then you come back 15 minutes later and say, "Oh, let me see how much more the sun's covered." Right. Like, it's it's kind of happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think between 2:15 <coughs> and 3, it may be, you know, it's not that exciting. Right. <laughs> Starting at 3 is when it's like beginning to be gobbled up, and then it comes off. Yes. Well, it does. <laughs> Cloud. We may not even see anything <laughs> until it's an official start. It's a term. Technical term. Technical term. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll see if the birds don't see That's a khakiism. <laughs> um, we'll check in on restaurants and, this, and stores and what they're doing. Like the res is ready. I don't know if the res is open for lunch. Okay. Please don't get it out of the lunch. And then we have a courage. And if anyone's having any events, please let us know. We know Maker's Fair has decided to do an, um, a really cool sort of art sale and event on Sunday afternoon and evening because they figure people are going to be wandering around with nothing yeah, to do. Yeah. Um, so that's good. We know Good Fires, and Lynette's on here. Good Fire, it's, it's actually their one year anniversary, so they're throwing a party um, that weekend. Uh, so. If we can't, and I know we've got a couple of just local events of, for kids of making pinhole cameras or whatever, mm -hmm. so that's good. But if we have anything else, it'd be great. Yeah, that's the library, right? The library. That's, that's right. Oh, that's right. I saw it on Facebook. <laughs> the library does have a couple of Eclipse events. Uh, a week before the Eclipse, we're going to have the Vermont Astronomical Society. All this is on our website, and I'll make sure to get it to you. Yeah. Uh, at 6 p.m. in the sale room, doing an event on what is an eclipse and how to view it safely. 
And then leading up to the eclipse, our Saturday story time on April 6th, and then our Monday morning story time on April 8th, the day of, are going to be eclipse themed with um, crafts and how to view the eclipse safely for kids. So they're going to build a little screen to put their, their eclipse glasses in. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see if those especially that Monday morning one gets the usual just local crowd or if we get some out-of-towners in for that. And we do plan to be open normal hours, 10 to 8, the day of the eclipse, and I expect will be a stop for people looking for information. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, anything that has to do with mm -hmm. maps around town and that kind of thing, I think it would be great to have at the library. Mm -hmm. Did Rachel you bring get something, a poster for that? Mm -hmm. Can you brought us a poster. Uh, yeah, that, I'm right? sure. But yeah, we've got flyers. Okay, because that was good to have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, mm -hmm. Please get me the events. We want to yes. get them on the website. Yeah, but we're we also putting eclipse-related events on the Eclipse page as well. <coughs> so we'll get that information up. Yep. Good. That's kind of cool. All right. So it does... Do people have um, things that they want the town to be aware of or concerns that you're having that, you know you want us to know of now rather than on the 8th? <laughs> Hopefully Public Works will be out beforehand making the town look beautiful. <laughs> so um, we'll be sweeping, cleaning sidewalks, scrubbing okay. stuff, weather permitting. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that during the two and a half minutes of darkness, the place will look gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, it's true. I remember a year ago walking around on April 8th looking at our town and it was full of gray, gray piles of snow and just garbage and we know how much dog poop is in the alley. And So weather permitting, sweepers yeah, ready to go. Green up day is a week, yeah. month later, so yeah. having yeah. some kind of... Yeah, we can encourage businesses to do the same around their space. I know you said you... There, you're not closing any roads, and then you, there's no parking signs for individuals. Would there be no parking signs on roads like my road, Railroad Street, that really can't fit parking at all? Like, there should I guess be. it's not a question for you. There should be. Okay. Yeah, because we've run into that during. Our I can't remember what it was. Our yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. At least that narrow section there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Good thought. Good Thank thought. You. Yeah, just like yeah. on the, yeah. One of those things halfway across so people can get out and get in. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I can say thank you all for coming. Um, I'm the point of contact, so if you have more things that you want to share, um, feel free to reach out to me. Um, we will, I think, almost always, unless someone comes in and takes them, have glasses out at the table. Um, if you are a business or organization that wants to pass out free glasses to your customers, please contact me. Um, and then we'll continue to keep our up, our website updated. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, cool. Thanks, everyone. So I'm going to do business communication.